Hey guys, so I tried to have a herping video for you guys, but um, Georgia did what Georgia's been doing and it's been raining yet again. So it got cold, it got rainy, which wasn't very good for herping. Uh, but I did have some other stuff happen this week. And so that's what today's video is gonna be about. So thank you guys for tuning in and stay tuned for the raccoon adventure. All right, after having um, some of my animals disappear and get mangled up, we got the culprit, managed to trap him in this trap. So tomorrow I'll be transporting this guy somewhere else where he won't be able to uh, eat my turtles anymore. So you have yourself a good night. All right, buddy. Okay. So unfortunately this is a victim of the raccoon and this raccoon had been visiting a bunch of my pens lately somewhere in the neighborhood of three or four turtles uh, which you know is never good so I was able to set a trap and what I used was one of the dead turtles a can of tuna and a little bit of Missouri and last night he went in there and now we're gonna relocate this guy somewhere very far away so he won't come back. Um, I think I'm lucky in that looking at the tracks, uh, one reason I like to put sand in my enclosures is I have the ability to look at the tracks of what might be visiting. And um, I've only seen, you know, basically one set of tracks, you know, from a raccoon, which is this guy. And, you know, last night, you know, I could see his little tracks where he got into the water and wandered around on the deck. So, so he's scared and, you know, raccoons happen. And unfortunately, the thing with raccoons is they're so intelligent that, you know, when you, you don't have a raccoon problem until you do, and they can kind of show up out of nowhere. And then, you know, that's when you just start having a problem. So for right now, uh, I, I'm going to have to, you know, look at, changing how I do things and you know modifying some setups putting some tops on some setups um, and maybe even running some electric around some of the pins moving forward you know having to be able to do something to keep raccoons out of the out of the yard they're cute but they're man they can be savage savage predators Anyway, today I'm taking this uh, little passenger back there, the raccoon, uh, from my yard, and we're gonna relocate him to a wildlife management area far from where I live. Um, in the state of Georgia, you're not allowed to kill nuisance wildlife. They must be relocated, so that's what I'm doing right now. And hopefully it will be far enough and a good enough habitat to where he will not want to come back to my place. So we're going a pretty good distance, so I think we'll be fine. Um, I hope he's enjoying the ride back there. All right, so here I am at the WMA. We're gonna drive this guy back into here, find a nice uh, area where we can enjoy actual wilderness and not have to go around getting into people's turtle ponds or trash or anything like that. And he can just be a happy wild raccoon and have plenty of natural habitat to hang out in and hopefully never find his way back to my house. These wildlife management areas are really important. Uh, there are huge tracts of land out here where I live, and you know they they retain them mostly for hunting. So you'll see there be guys out here hunting deer, and turkey, bear, and squirrels. Okay. I got you. I got you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Relax. All right. And then I think. This is the scary part, because you're gonna come out fast as shit. Ready? Go ahead. Crap, how do I get this thing to stay up? Hold on. There you go. Be free. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> I am terrible at this. So we want this to come forward. Okay. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bye. You're good. I set him up here, opened the cage up, and um, he basically he basically bolted down this hillside. Now we'll move on with the rest of my day. Raccoon's gone, and um, we'll keep trapping at the house, keep setting traps, and making sure that there's no more raccoons, and hopefully there aren't. All right, so hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, glad I could take you along for an unfortunate ride, but hopefully one that can help everyone. So you guys take care. I'll see you guys down in the comments. Have a good one. Be good to each other. Peace.